Let's bring out the amazing cast of Power Rangers Time Force. First up, from Mad Max 2 Road Warrior. So good. Commando, one of my faves. Uh, and Weird Science, give it up for the evil Raznik himself. Vernon Wells, everybody. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Sorry Hello, about Vernon. that. I uh, <laughs> double fingered there. Sorry. <laughs> you double fingered, Vernon. That yeah, double fingered. Right um, yeah, I, I I really don't like myself today. That's why I put myself on and off. Vernon, um, very nice. Hi, this is Ranchik, and I'm uh, here to uh, thrill you all. Once <laughs> the other clowns get on, we'll see just what we can do. Let's bring those clowns out. Wait, first of all, Vernon, where are you um, broadcasting from? Are you are you down in Australia or are you in uh, California? Where are you at? No, actually, I'm in Pacific Palisades, uh, Los Angeles. If you could see through my window behind me, you would see the ocean. I'm just, oh, my home is uh, above the ocean and it's right behind me, but it burns out, unfortunately. Yeah, no, that's all right. Now, we love the posters. We love the, uh, the, the throwback posters up there. Those are amazing. All right, let's bring out those clowns, shall we, Vernon? Yes, let's do it. <laughs> All right. Uh, first up, from the Order and the Grindhouse Radio, um, Trip Regis, the Green Time Force Ranger. Let's hear it for Kevin Kleinberg, everybody. Hey. Yeah. What's up, Kevin? Thanks for joining us. Sorry, I, I triple fingered there. Sorry about that. <laughs> Oh man, I'm so, you're just gonna all one up each other on on <laughs> fingering. I, we, I'm not even gonna go where I was gonna. Yeah, go be with. careful. Yeah, I know. I, yeah, <laughs> it's not that late. It's you five o'clock in New York. It's five o'clock where I'm in New York, but not not that late. <laughs> Let's bring out uh, the next from Sleepy Hollow. Cut to the chase and saving grace. Jennifer Jen Scotts, the Pink Time Force Ranger. Let's Woo! hear it for Aaron Cahill. <laughs> Whoa. I wanted him to pop in. I couldn't get all the way off, though. <laughs> <laughs> perfect, perfect. Everyone's got their own unique style of coming in. We love it. Um, from One Tree Hill, the Scorpion King, Rise of a Warrior, Lucas Kendall, the Blue Time Force Ranger. Let's hear it for Michael Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on one second. Here we go. Oh, all right, right. Here we got it. What's up, guys? What's up, Michael? Thank you for joining Where's us. You? Also, people have been shouting out to your donut shop. I didn't realize you had a donut shop. <laughs> oh, yeah. I do, I do have a donut shop. <laughs> amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Um, let's get this um, last cl uh, clown uh, out here, as Vernon said. Um, but uh, from Resident Evil Vendetta, The Order, and also The Grindhouse Radio, Wesley, Wes, Collins, and also Alex, let's not forget, um, the Red Time Force Ranger, Jason Font, everybody. Woo-hoo! Boom! What's up, everybody? <laughs> <laughs> I like it. That's what I, I like want mine to be, but JJ uh, never. Yours was, yours was amazing as well, Aaron. It was, it was, everyone. What did Aaron do? I didn't see. I the tried to get fully out of frame, Jay, so I was like this, but my shoulder was still in, so I like popped up. But... Oh, how about this? How about this? Okay. How about this? <laughs> Boom! Oh! Hey, you guys. There we go. How you guys all doing? <laughs> all right. Kevin, we need the green wig for it to really be I know, official. I know. We need that green. <laughs> uh, welcome, everybody. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Uh, I know I speak on behalf of the fans who are just showing their love from around the world, uh, obviously across the country, uh, but from the UK, Australia, um, some parts of South America watching. Um, everyone got a little taste of uh, Power Rangers. Obviously, we are 25 seasons deep, but uh, Time Force, one of the favorites um, over the long span, which is, which is, cr it's crazy how long Power Rangers has been running. I know I grew up with uh, Mighty Morphin um, when I was younger, and that was the the first one to kind of kick things off. We had Mighty Morphin 1, we had Mighty Morphin 2. <laughs> Look at Michael showing off with his, whatever he's got, Ecamm Live or, or OBS. <laughs> <laughs> we got, we gotta watch Vernon. this. Is that Vernon? Oh, of course, it's a Blue Ranger fight. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> amazing, amazing. Yeah, people are calling for the crystal, the crystal in the forehead as well. Um, but what I would like to um, know, and I'm going to get right into the fan questions because we've had a ton. Uh, and if you're watching live on Twitch, Facebook, YouTube Live, throw a question into the chat, just uh, at Wizard World or at Wizard World Virtual, and we will try to get to as many as we can. We've already had a ton, ton of questions come over uh, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. So I want to kick things off. As I was saying, 25 seasons uh, of Power Rangers, uh, which ended in an awesome... Uh, reunion uh, episode, which we'll get to a little bit later, but um, from Charmed Blue 06, Time Force is, as I mentioned, one of the most popular seasons of 
this series, including the spinoffs that you all have participated in. What do you think led to your season out of, again, ultimately, you know, all these different casts, all these different seasons, all these different storylines and different styles of Rangers, you know what I mean? Dealing with different things. What do you think it was that was part of your season that made it so magical and has continued now from 2001, my gosh, um, to still be one of the fan favorites? I'll kick it off because I know people might say it was because of the, the writing and all that, but honestly, it's because of the chemistry of our family. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Mikey. I, yeah, I'm just gonna yeah, just I, I drop the mic. Look, guys, listen. <laughs> yeah. we, Next question. We <laughs> we we are literally <laughs> we've stuck together so so strong since 2000, and even at uh, when we went to Morphicon, we were like the only cast that was there with all six Rangers and like three yep. bad guys. Like we've stuck together. Yeah, sure. We've been friends and family ever since, and and truly, I think that was something magical that came across through the screen. Yeah, I can't get rid of you. <laughs> um, I I have a, a one reason I think, but I mean, uh, Mike, I uh, totally agree. We have been friends since day one, since the first time Erin came up to me, asked me what I did, and I said I thought I killed her boyfriend in the series, and she told me she didn't like me anymore. <laughs> um, I think from that moment, we every one of us has been firm, firm friends, and we've stuck together through it mm. all. And But I also think that the writers did help a lot, that once they figured out that they had a really strong team of rangers and a couple of actual professional actors in the, the mix, they wrote some brilliant scripts for everybody. And I think that helped a lot, that people just loved it. And they had a villain for a change that wasn't in a big, dumb suit. Yep. I, yeah, I have to second that. I think that's part of what it was, was our chemistry, without a doubt. I just did a podcast and I was talking about what a family we are. Mm -hmm. Still to this day. I mean, mm -hmm. family. And uh, yeah, the writers, we got really good storylines. Like, they, you know, they, when else they kill off a ranger? Yeah. Episode one. Yeah. And we got like yeah. real stuff, you know, I got to like cry and stuff. Yeah, and I and I think to echo that as well. It's like when you work in any any set or any work environment, you know, sometimes things will happen. I don't think any of us had any beef ever with nope. each other throughout that season. It was always a family. We were always close, um, and that's a it's a rarity in any mm -hmm. workplace, whether it's Hollywood or not. So I, I think we just kept a very close relationship, and yeah. uh, and we and and to be honest too, you know, I, we were all beginners back then. Vernon and Edward Albert had a ton of, of, of Hollywood experience, big movie experience. And yep. they were always showing us the ropes, teaching us things that I know I didn't know. Yeah. So we really learned from those guys. And that was invaluable having them on set. Yeah, Absolutely. Vernon was great at spitting in your face when he acted with you. <laughs> he still does that when you talk to him. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I mean, just to add to that, I mean, um, you know, the subject matter as well uh, was, you know, also went to kind of darker um, places than other seasons. I mean, I was a fan of yeah. Muddy Morphin growing up, you know, um, big, you know, big Power Ranger fan. I used to record, uh, you know, on my VHS. I know Mike and I used to talk about that. Um, mm -hmm. But, you know, the, 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 just the subject matter was just really just want to really, you know, more, um, I want to say adult, but, you know, a little bit more mature places. And uh, I think it added a lot to you know the dimension of 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 the of the show so mm -hmm. yeah i mean they they even went with my character with um uh, rancic they got into a whole backstory which they would really never yeah. done in any of the series and they took that to a couple of places that were very dark when they did the the episodes about how he became who he was and i was always so surprised when i got the script that we were doing a kid show that was very adult and uh, mm -hmm. I think it was that was one of its its main features that people loved and the kids loved it. They weren't being talked down to. They were being treated as adults, which I think also helped us immensely as a team when we were working. And I and think also, the fa sorry, I just want to say also the fact no, that no, we were no, time travel was just epic. Oh, yeah. um, going back from Back to the Future to Terminator, there's so many, and even the new Avengers ended in time travel. We, we actually have the ability um, to do so much more with the season if the, if the show wanted to progress upon that, which I think they should. And, um, <laughs> you know, uh, it, we, we could do more now with time travel because we can go anywhere, any place. 
And I think that's really cool too. Yeah, me too. Well, and, the, and like throughout the seat, it wasn't even just a one known thing. You know, we obviously had the surprise of a ranger getting killed in the first episode, like you mentioned, um, Aaron. But then, yeah, we get the backstory, like not even like like halfway through. So we've already kind of invested in these characters and we we get to see little nuggets throughout. You know, then, my gosh, Frax becomes the doctor that was like in the backstory. So like and then uh, Alex comes back like there were so many, so many twists and turns um, that just made it much. Uh, again, not knocking on any of the other series, but just, you know, it. it it, it made it more intelligent, if you will, um, like you all said, you know, and again, not a knock on, on any of the other seasons or the actors and stuff. And there's still there's some, some really cool stuff that goes on. Um, and then you mentioned the storylines themselves. My gosh, like segregation and like uh, hatred of other types of people from, you know, aliens to robots and uh, to mutants. You know what I mean? Um, wasn't done in like a kid's show like yeah. that before. Yeah. 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 Um, and uh, Aaron specifically, uh, I know this was a huge change for the series. And this is a question that comes from Under the Sea Cassie. Um, what was it like knowing um, that you played the first female leader uh, of the Power Rangers, which again was another huge difference um, from previous seasons. And I'd love to hear from the gentleman as well, sort of what was it like um, knowing that there was that shift, right? It wasn't, no offense, Jason, it wasn't, but it wasn't all about the, the Red Ranger to start. You know what I mean? The Red Ranger came in, obviously, but the Pink Ranger was the, the leader, you know what I mean, yeah, of the yeah. group. How was that? How was that, Eric? Laughing because it's like a constant jokey feud with me and Jason. Yeah. <laughs> And it's not really a feud because like some people definitely think he was a leader and then some people think I was a leader. But both, yeah. both, both of us are like, yeah, I was a leader. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I just did this podcast where it was like same thing I had. By the way, I can't go on anymore without saying hi, Cassie. Hi, my darling. Yeah. Um, <laughs> one of my one of my favorite fans on humans and a friend now. Um, yeah, you got I love that you asked that, Mike. By the way, you guys, Mike like binged our show and watched officially more than like my whole family has ever watched. <laughs> so I just wanted to acknowledge that and thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. It's so much fun. It's so much fun to go back, especially with like some of these series that, uh, you know, I, I hate to call 2001 retro, but I mean, that's where we're at right now. You know what I mean? But to go back and watch these things, but then to still see like the love that's pouring out uh, in the, in the fan chat right now to still see the continued love and support. And you mentioned you all like being family at cons and everything. Um, and I think that's, that's the huge thing you give, you you all give back to your fans and you, you show your appreciation for the series as opposed to just letting it die out and be like, ah, that was just some silly thing I did for a couple of years back in 2001. But anyway, Aaron continued. I appreciate this chat out. Yeah, no, no, thank you for what you just said so much and, and agreed. I, I know I speak on behalf of all of us and I want you guys to say it too, but the fact that next year's our 20 year anniversary and the love we still get from our fans and all over the world, but all over the world, you know, we were in Saudi Arabia with you guys a few months ago. Yep. Thank you again for that. By the way, Peter, if you're watching, thank you. That was just so cool, Jason. I love that. And like Brazil and everywhere we go, it's, it's, it's mind blowing. Um, but just really quick, I just want to say like playing the first female leader of the Power Rangers was never lost on me. But as, as I've gotten older and seen the effects it's had, it's been amazing. Like every convention fans come up to me, so at least someone and says, you made such a difference for me. I've had people tell me I was reason, like women tell me I was reason they went to college or the reason they did this. And it's, it, it every single time touches my heart every single time. How about um, gentlemen's reaction? Not not only to um, the shift in tone there uh, with with uh, al not allowing, but you know having a female leader uh, primarily, but then also all of your characters had crazy you know like different storylines going on with like Alex versus Wes or you know Alex for, or Wes versus Eric. You know, Vernon, you mentioned it like a, a actual baddie with a with a backstory like insane. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the alien hate Kevin. You know, like all, all these things yeah. uh, or not hate, but you know what I mean, like you know being judged as an alien no, and things like that. You know. <laughs> were you were you conscious of it at the time that this was like oh my gosh this is very different you know what I mean than the traditional Power Ranger storylines um, that have happened before? Um, can I? Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I, I found it interesting because if you remember, in the first episode was when Aaron and I really got together was in that bus when they're transporting me and she's kind mm -hmm. of doing her very big time uh, Power Ranger thing and I'm just sort of <laughs> grinning at her for the whole thing until finally she gets taken down and I escape. But the one thing I loved about it was is that the 
writers were smart enough to see something between us and they kept on putting us together in situations which I found really interesting and a lot of fun. I think I had more fights with Erin than with the rest of the Rangers combined. <laughs> it was just ridiculous. It was just, but it was a lot of fun. And I mean, I got to have so much fun. I mean, when my daughter was in love with the ranger and I couldn't kill a ranger, I had to be nice. It, it, they did some great things. So yeah, and and Aaron and Jason, both as being the the leaders, I, I have to differ there. I thought that I was, and I'm very disappointed <laughs> to say that. <laughs> Yeah, we were definitely both the leaders, I, I think. I always joke and say it was me, but it was like definitely both. It shifted back and forth, and that's what made it cool. You know what I mean? The dynamic of it. It wasn't just one note. It was it was yeah. a shift back and forth. I thought, it, cool. I thought it was really cool how like all the characters were so dynamic, kind of like the Avengers where you got the Hulk, you got Iron Man, you've yeah. got... It's like the fact that we had Trip with green hair and he was an, a Zybrian from another planet that reads minds, and then we had a woman leader, and I was like more of the quiet, um, stern kind of like cop figure... And you yep. had Wes, who was just kind of cool and wacky and fun, and and Debbie, who was just like bubbly, and and in you know, and Vernon, even the bad guy being that iconic bad guy. I just thought that it was just really well done. Done, and, and, you know, movies like Goonies and, and and Avengers, like people, the uh, like Guardians of the Galaxy is a great example too, where it's just like when the characters are so dynamic, um, that's what makes it win. You know, it's mm -hmm. like they don't all look the same. And I've watched a lot of seasons where all the guys look the same. It's like uh, yep. three modeling looking guys who are rangers and, and it, it, there, there's no characters, you know, it just gave, it, you know, it gave it gave us dynamic, you know. Yeah. And you know what, too, Mike, they um, I, I thought they did a good job because I don't think at the time we thought about that deeply into it. The scripts yeah. would come out. We wouldn't know what was coming up, uh, you know, week to week. We were mm -hmm. filming three episodes at a time. so. I don't know that I, I don't think personally I felt the scope of what was happening. Yeah. Uh, I didn't feel it was that either. Unfolding before our eyes, but it seemed like they would always just give, um, you know, one episode would be all about trip yep. and then it'd be all about Katie and then it'd be about Vernon and they really jumped around. So all the characters felt so equally special. I don't know if that's the, the formula they continue to do, but I felt like we were always touching on each character separately and I think that gave the, a, a true ensemble of our cast, and that was that was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Well said, Jay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I wrote that down earlier and was practicing it. I think you know, okay. <laughs> <laughs> delivered it perfectly. Were you yeah. reading off a teleprompter in the background? That's what I was talking about. <laughs> I'm just thinking. I had some notes, but um, you can't see. <laughs> You're cheating like me. You're cheating like me. No, now, no, um, no, no. You're right, Jason. <laughs> I think um, to your to your question, sort of that you posed. I, I think. Uh, series after y'all's um seasons uh kind of learn from from your guys you know what i mean and then there were some some moments like that um but prior to i think 100 percent, it was very one you know there was just the colors <laughs> of the rangers yeah, you, you didn't really get to know their characters uh but your se season was the first one to really ha give each character featured episodes mm -hmm. awesome. um, for sure yeah kevin kevin uh, we didn't hear from you on that one but i mean trip again same thing right you know that, well, that character I mean, could have easily receded in the background but they gave him that like that was forward episodes. So no, I think, I think all the characters had really were really three dimensional uh, characters really. And, um, and just the, as I said earlier, just with the subject matter, we were dealing with things like the blue monster and like yep. um, yeah. just, just all these, uh, you know, so social things that we, that we deal with, um, mm -hmm. you know, just to, just to kind of delve into that was, was kind of not something that you saw in, maybe prior prior seasons or anything like that so um and, and kevin yeah. don't forget you you were the one if you remember that actually was the tipping point for nadira which yeah, was true. the tipping point for vernon right mm -hmm. so i that, save the day like always what can i say i mean you know <laughs> <laughs> saving you the world yeah, another powerful episode, Jason, for sure. That's a great point. The I guess that was part of the right. That was part of the final like trilogy, if you will, um, where you come up with Nadira and the, they deliver the baby. My gosh, you know, right, right. And to have her character completely change too, and then affect um, Brancic, and then have that come like back around, like just way more depth than than that ever was there. I'm I'm curious, like, and some fans are asking about the Sente counterpart. Um, this is specifically from William Burnick. How much do you know or not know about? Uh, their version of it script wise and then what you and your writers added storyline wise um, to enhance the characters. I don't know. I don't know if the, how much, you know, you were aware of sort of what was going on over there and the Sente counterpart 
part versus what you had script wise for y'all uh, in the English version. I didn't, I didn't, I don't know how you, maybe Mike, you might know yeah. that. I don't know how much it differed from the Sentai version. The, yeah. I think for the, for the most part, the only character that was really different was my character. Cause in, in the Sentai version, I, I have a, a, a really bad disease and it went, they went more into that life threatening disease that my character had and stuff like oh. that. For the most part, uh, the Sentai, from what I, what I learned, uh, they pretty much kept, kept right on track um, with, with the same storyline. And actually, I think the original, I mean, um, Alex in this case would, would never came back, I think, right? Wasn't I, he, I think that was. Oh, really? Like that. And did there's a Eric, small Eric other died? point. Did Eric well, die? Um, did they kill did they the Pink Ranger? I don't know. No. I don't remember. Eric, no. no, Eric. <laughs> Eric. Oh, Eric. Eric. Oh, Eric. <laughs> Eric. <laughs> well, my did character didn't die? exist. Yeah. Someone dies. My character didn't exist in the Sensei version. They wrote it in. Oh, see, oh, that's big. Mm. Mm. Oh, and another one is a uh, Debbie was a man. Uh, yeah, so. Debbie was a man. Oh, yeah, that, that's true. One, right? <laughs> I forgot about. Right, that. I forgot about that too. Yeah. yeah. Vernon, that's <laughs> wild. Rancic wasn't this. So was it just like Frax, like that that kind of the robot character as the main uh, sort of baddie? No, actually, my daughter was the villain of the Ascensai uh, version. It was a female villain, and they decided they wanted to change it up and make it a male villain. That's how the character evolved. That's so cool. That's so interesting. It's so interesting. I mean, I've been we've been doing a lot of these uh, anime panels as well. When you see the like Japanese version versus the English dub, um, it's just interesting to see both, um, you know, different styles of writing sort of take on different different ways of doing it. Um, I love we we, we all we're, we're kind of talking about it already. Some of the favorite episodes, um, and I know you probably get asked this question a lot, but there's a lot of fans you know that have never been to a con before, maybe never met you before. Um, so specifically from Rich GFJ. Um, in addition to, let me make sure to get as many shout outs, um, as possible here. Uh, Cody Cornelius watching on Facebook. A lot of people in general are just wondering, you know, your favorite, uh, your favorite arc maybe for your character, maybe not a specific episode, but just your favorite storylines, uh, for your character. Some of, some of them we probably already spoke about a little bit. Yeah. I love, think, love I think it. our favorite one, what we always talk about is the movie madness one. Um, yeah, the fact that we all got to be in our own, uh, like storyline and Aaron was this amazing Chinese fighter and, and then Wes and Tripper and, and, the old west and i was a samurai so we had a great time doing all the uh we got to film in the back lot of universal studios and that cool. was probably yeah, that was awesome. for me being 18 years old that was like the pinnacle moment where i'm like i'm an actor this yeah. is crazy <laughs> like uh, yeah. you know tours were coming by and we're back there filming you know i love the fact that they they actually asked me if they could do it but they sent up my character in road warrior they had yeah the he became and then they had me in a tutu um <laughs> which you know that's not a big change for you though <laughs> that's not big at all <laughs> you on tuesday nights vernon yeah uh, that one it is damn it but no that that to me the, the two that would be my favorite episodes were definitely movie madness i i still think to this day that that was the two best episodes in the series that Absolutely. we did but i also loved the episode that I did where we discovered who Frax was and then we discovered what happened to me when he tried to kill me and my face got melted and I was walking down the lane in the rain. Yeah. I mean, to me, that was so above what they did in kids' shows. It was just yep. amazing to do. And um, that was, for me, one of the best episodes that I did in the whole thing. Very cool. Mm -hmm. And who else? Favorite moments, favorite uh, character sort of arcs, if you will, or storylines? Mm. Uh, you know what? I, I think the, uh, I don't know. I mean, for me, for me personally, I think we're, we're you're individually, personally, I, I think the dynamic between Wes and Jen, I, I thought was, was, was really cool. Yep. Um, the way that, that Alex had come back and it kind of left her figuring out this new relationship with this new guy and, and trying to stay loyal to this old guy and kind of how their relationship cultivated and how it ended, which a lot of people didn't care for, but it was interesting that they kind of left that door open. Yeah. Um, so I, I thought that relationship was was pretty well done. How uh, how they kind of met at odds and slowly built up this relationship, and were kind of left having to leave each other at the end, which was uh, which was a sad reality. But that's what it was. It was pretty well done. Um, I have to say, I always it's my it's my joke, but it's also just fact. I do whatever Jason Font does, period in life. 
Yeah. That's just how that goes. So I, <laughs> I'll just uh, echo what he said. Our, our storyline, I mean, to this day, the Jen and West questions I get constantly. Mm -hmm. uh, to, I told you, I guess I just, I've just finished um, a really fun podcast. By the way, you guys should do it. Uh, Vern, you did it a couple weeks ago. But anyway, yes. um, they, they did like the fans every time. Do you, do you think they should kiss at the end? And what about this? And what do you think they're doing now? And it was, th that storyline was really special. I also want to give a shout out to um, Wes and Jen, I mean, Aaron and Jason. Uh, Boom Comics is actually doing a story on their characters and expanding yeah. as well. So if you didn't know that about that already, um, I think it's in August, right, guys? October. October. Yep, October. October. Yeah. yeah. So Boom Comics is doing the, uh, like an extended version of Jen and Wes, which is exciting. That's awesome. That's a shout out to uh, one of the fans watching Laura Chalk uh, asked specifically about Jen and Wes's relationship, uh, yeah. how it played out in the scripts and what you thought about it. So uh, again, shout out to Laura watching from home and thanks you guys for um, Thank you, Laura. Not even the prompt. Yeah, thanks, Laura. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Kevin, any, any uh, favorite moments um, for y'all? I mean, it was, um, I mean, it was already said, but movie, movie madness was, was definitely the most fun, uh, you know, double episode that that I did I mean that we all we all kind of are in agreement with that um as far as a uh, trip's uh, character arc I mean um uh, I mean the blue monster episode is really good I think it's uh, trip takes a stand um yep. where you know just standing up for someone that's different and making it you know um just kind of touching on some pretty uh you know kind of deep topics really in terms of uh, sticking up for people uh, that that are different, um, and uh, could also be kind of like in a way of talking about bullying on, and things of that nature. Um, but I mean, I mean, aside from that, I mean that that, and I mean the whole. We touched on some really great, great, uh, great, great topics. So, um, but as far as the arc, I think probably that uh, trip takes a stand, and you yeah, know, changing. Uh, changing Nadira or um, influencing Nadira and, and kind of that whole cascade effect, which ultimately leads to, you know, saving the world. I mean, what's wrong with that? So um, <laughs> thanks for bringing that up, J Jason. Uh, <laughs> about that, so. Yeah. What a cool, I mean, what a cool storyline really where they, where you got a beginning, middle and end, you know what I mean? You, you met these characters at the beginning, you, they actually did save the world, you know what I mean? And then you were able to leave, you know, on your own terms, storyline wise. And, Obviously, we have the crossovers and the extended stories, which I'm going to get to. But uh, a question from J. Steph Trumpet watching on Twitch uh, was just about that final scene, uh, the final beach scene. Very curious if that was the last one you filmed. One uh, favorite ending of any season of Power Rangers, uh, folks are saying. And just, I guess, the overall question for all of you is that scene. But then also just what was it like? You know, knowing that it was so short lived and just came coming to that end, but having such a, a powerful ending. Um, mm -hmm. What were your feelings and your emotions at the time uh, ending the series? Cried like a baby. Oh. Yeah, yeah I, think we're, I think we're universally yeah. all going to say that. But the tears yeah. you saw on camera were for real. Yeah, it was sad. Like you, you, you just kind of felt like, you know, you're not going to see each other ever again. And and it was just such a it's such a heartbreaking moment because you're you're just with each other every day, and it's probably like. Just like you just shut the whole world out. I don't know what everyone else did, but I'm I was just a kid from Virginia and uh, you know just turned 18 and I literally shut the entire world out as opposed to my my cast and crew because I knew nothing else other than yeah. this was my first show, first audition. So I just you know just went all in and then when I when it was over, it was like, what am I gonna do now? It was so weird. Uh, and I always say like Jason's been Jason and Aaron have always been influences in me in my life. Jason Jason's been like a big brother to me, so. I mean, teaching me like different stuff, like taxes, financial planning, stuff like that. So it was like <laughs> asking him questions. So what do I do now? Like, who, how do I get an accountant? And like, <laughs> it's just, just all the things. It was just like, what am I going to do without Jason uh, there? But it, once it ended, you were like, oh, we can keep in touch with each other. And that's what we did. That's why I said in the beginning, our family was the, that's what made it work because we've stayed in touch all this time. Yeah. I thought you were going to say he, he like taught you fighting moves and things like that. But he's like, no, taxes. No, he finance. taught me real life stuff. He taught me how to fight the other thing. <laughs> how to fight to survive, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, sure, I think, sure. I, I, yeah, I think it's, uh, um, it was, it was, it was, we, we definitely, um, I, when they say, you know, we, it wasn't work, it was play. 
And um, it was every day we were up at five thirty, six in the morning, going to mm. set. And it just never felt like work. It never did. And I think at least I, I thought, you know, OK, well, we're going to move on to the next project, the next project. And it's going to be easy. And of course, it wasn't. But um, yeah. you, but we just enjoyed our time. And I think we all felt maybe I felt safe there. You know, I, everyone was so great. Every day, every day was a pleasure. And so I, I you know, when I left, I, I knew we were going to miss it. It was sad. It was definitely sad in real life. We, we, we definitely, uh, that was a tough day. I remember it. Aaron's right. The, the, everybody was sad. Tears are real. Oh, yeah. You know, I mean, it's, I mean, it, it's, I mean, it's, you know, breaking up a family, really. I mean, yeah. that's, that's just how sad that is. I, I just, man, um, that was, that was tough. That, that brings back some, some, some uh, moments. <laughs> Vernon, how about that final scene with, um, with Nadira, with your daughter? You know what I mean? Uh, Rancic, again, like never, never before have we seen like a character, a bad baddie and Power Rangers get like a redemption arc, you know? Um, but any, any sort of memories of that kind of final shot of Rancic kind of getting redeemed there in the end? Yeah. Um, it was an interesting, uh, a whole interesting thing. But then again, throughout the whole series of, of, of episodes, the one thing that always stood out was Rand Six's love for his daughter, that yeah. he would do anything for her and anything to protect her. And they played that all the way through. And I think that's what made the end work was the fact that when I realized I'd nearly killed her, and what I'd done and what I'd become was that I just gave it all away. And, of course, I had to let the little short ass over there arrest me. I couldn't let Jason do it. No. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, no, I loved it. Um, it. It was kind of fun um, coming back in the last episode. But I, I unfortunately wasn't involved in them leaving. Right. But I was at the the scene because Aaron had rung, uh, called me and said, do you know you can see the whales from where we are down here? Why don't you come down? So I went down and spent the afternoon with them. I completely forgot that I did that. Yeah, you, you got me to come down because the whales were there. So I came down. I wasn't in any of the scenes, but I came down to see you guys. I was just talking was, about us. We were that the was our last time together on the series. Wow. I forgot that. Cool. That's right. That's hmm. awesome. Um, for the fans watching at home, uh, we have about 10 minutes left in this panel. Um, and so at this point, I always try to remind you all, you've got about uh, half an hour or so to purchase those one-on-one -on -one video chats. Uh, we're going to get to a few more questions here. But if you have you know, more specific questions um, or ask uh, from each of these amazing individuals, uh, definitely purchase those one-on-one -on -one video chats now. Um, they will happen immediately following the panel. Um, so just a little reminder to everyone watching out there. But um, we talked about the characters and their amazing arcs. And as I watch Twitch, and I, and I know it's happening on Facebook as well, countless, countless questions um, about continuation uh, of these characters. Uh, before we get there in terms of, you know, what the future might hold, you know, from this point, um, a lot of you got to be on, on spinoffs or uh, other seasons. I know um, we had uh, obviously Wild Force and also uh, the most recent uh, episodes as well. Um, we had some character arcs. Uh, Aaron, I know you played the uh, Hyperforce, uh, D, uh, not D and D, but you know the RPG, uh, which yeah. was super cool. Uh, what was it like coming, uh, Vernon? You had you came, you crossed over in Wild Force as well as like redeemed Rancic. What was it like then? You know, being being sad, <laughs> realizing it's over, but then starting to see that fan love and and having those characters now being kind of requested to come back in these crossover episodes for Wild Force, um, and then throughout. I know we had uh, Jason uh, most recently also as well in the reunion episode. Love to hear just some of your stories. Oh, look at that! Awesome. There it is. Aww. There we all are. Aww, super mega force that's, that's the one i was missing super mega the super mega force uh finale as well yeah i just love to hear sort of your uh <laughs> any you know stories or instances of, of you returning back to the characters on how how that was um for me it was it was two things it was fun to be back with all of my friends for a start the the people that i love the most it was great to be back with them but secondly it, it was a little bit of a disappointment to come back as the nice man. I always <laughs> love Rancic. I, mean, I thought he was wonderful. Um, but to come back and be such a, a wimpy little shit. Um, but, 
it was fun. No, I, I, I loved it. Um, sure. Just being with this group uh, was, was worth it for me, you know, just being around them again because um, that was where it was the most fun. Don't be fooled, guys. Vernon's a total sap. Uh, he is. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. He's 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 pretty sweet. Yeah, you're you're a sweet giant, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the gentle giant. <laughs> um, you know what? I'll I'll jump in. I mean, I I've, I've been yeah. lucky to come back uh, four different times, um, and I will say that the the Power Rangers would would love to have have our whole cast back, and I just yeah. had timing worked out for me, so it worked out good, but. It, it was cool to come back um, a bunch of times. And I think th we, we've just, like I said, Time Force has built this legacy up. You know, mm -hmm. all of us have been very, very involved with the franchise. We've all supported it throughout the last 20 years. And, and I think the, this just, it just has risen up to the top of that, that franchise. So um, I've always loved coming back. It's so cool to me personally and an honor to, to be invited and, and, uh, and keep our little Time Force family going. And I hope, uh, you get to see all of us back in uh, Power Rangers at some point. I think that'd be really cool. Yeah. Yep. Let's talk about that a little bit. Obviously, there's some work on uh, the order, you know, for the fans out there. Uh, we had the kind of like brief, uh, albeit awesome, but I'll be brief uh, power, uh, team up during a uh, super mega force. Um, what does the, what does the future look like for all you in, in terms of power, you know, anything that you can share? I know we're in a tough time right now where not a lot of it is happening or filming. Um, but would you all come back for a time force movie or, you know, what are you looking forward to, you know, recreating your characters and bringing them back in any, any entity or any platform? Uh, I, I mean, I'll, uh, I'll address something that uh, I've been, I put a Indiegogo together a while ago and, uh, didn't end up making that project because I didn't make the full funds, but um, it's looking like pretty soon in the next few months that I'm going to actually be able to shoot this thing and get it out there. So I got a list of everybody that donated. I'll be able to reach out to everyone individually and explain the situation that happened. I couldn't be public about what happened to me, but I was taken advantage of by some people. But, um, cool. but at the end of the day, uh, I'm looking at expanding my character and expanding that with um, the rest of the Power Ranger cast, my, you know, my Power Ranger cast. Um, but I've always wanted to see that come, come, you know, come to the you know future right now and come to the present. Uh, so I'm working on that. Uh, yeah, I'll just, I'll go ahead and say that too. So. Mikey, we're in. Yeah. I know you guys <laughs> sure. are. You better be. Absolutely. Absolutely. I wasn't going to ask. <laughs> well, I, you know, I, I think, uh, I think next year is going to be big for our cast. Um, because I think it, this year, or next year is our 20 year reunion. And yep. Um, yep. I just yep. think there's some surprises that could be coming up. But, um, cool. but I, I think with the 20 year reunion, it's just kind of highlighting our cast even more so. And, and uh, I, you know, so I kind of laughed. I told Power Morphicon, I go, hey, Scott, I go, it's a 20 year anniversary. I think this should be all about time for us. And he goes, I think you're right. <laughs> so <laughs> it should be a good, it should be a good year for, for our cast in many ways. Yeah. That's cool, and I know awesome. we're, yeah, I know we're sad about we're sad about it not happening this year, PMC. You know what I mean? But but hopefully we can come back in full force, uh, in full time force, <laughs> uh, in 2021. Vernon <laughs> go. started to say something. Yeah, um, no, I was just going to say, you know, the the fun thing about this for me is that I these kids grew up with me. It was like yeah. having my own kids through the whole thing. They were all mm. so young when we started, and a pain in my ass. <laughs> um, <laughs> but Still the, are. The thing I loved about working with this lot and still do was that every time we got on the set, they tried to make me look bad. It was this competition. It was who could screw Vernon the worst. And it was so <laughs> much fun. I mean, it really was. It was just, it, it just made everything so enjoyable that I, you, every day I look forward to it. I look forward to going there. I look forward to doing it. And um, I've always, you know, anything that I'm doing, I've always tried to get some of them involved if I can, because, you know, underneath it all, they're, they're just a group of, of wonderful actors portraying cartoon characters and doing it extraordinarily well. Yeah. Well, awesome. awesome. Thank you, Vernon. Thanks, Vernon. Uh, it's a it's a credit to you. I know I speak for all the fans uh, that have been showing nothing but love for Time for us again as favorite season, favorite season of all time. Um, excited for the twentieth anniversary next year. Um, I think it's a credit to you all as as a family, um, as you mentioned, but that also uh, as actors that this 
particular season is still living on 20 years later as one of the faves. So thank you um, again, speaking for all the fans out there. And I know we couldn't get uh, to everyone's question. I'm going to shout them all out really fast. Um, Elise, uh, Cuss, Daniel Bench, Hunter Brandt, Antonio, William um, Burnick, Michael Ryan Fontanelia, Elise Cuss, uh, I said already, Lauren Chalk, um, all, all these fans asking questions um, all wow. across the world. That's just <laughs> like to name the 10 of them that have asked questions. There's hundreds of people watching from around. Uh, and if you didn't get a chance um, to purchase those video chats, uh, they did go down uh, for a second in terms of like the website getting messed up. So definitely go back. They, uh, they are back up. If you want to purchase those video chats one-on-one -on -one time uh, with these amazing folks, uh, they will be on sale for the next 15 to 20 minutes or so, uh, in addition to those autographs and video recorded messages. Um, but I'd like to give uh, you all one more chance uh, just to say thank you to the fans, uh, everyone watching out there. Just one more time, go around the room to kind of wrap things up a shout out to all the uh, all the folks watching at home yeah i sorry and i jumped in yeah go, go. Can I use no, the first thing yep <laughs> um thank you no i just want to echo what you said mike first of all well done you you great moderator Thanks. thank you i appreciate um, it and and also just you know i i know i speak on behalf of all of us and they'll say it too but guys thank each and every one of you for being here we wouldn't be where we are without you guys we have the best fans in the world and we love you yeah. guys and thank you wizard world for having us yeah. So yeah thank you wizard world yeah thank you thank you yep it's you know we're nothing without the fans i always say that the only reason that we are who we are is because people want to see us and when we go to the conventions and those kids or the adults whoever they are come up and say man i loved you in time force mm -hmm. you know what that's, that's really what it's all about. And they ask questions. They want to know who you are and they treat you with respect, which is really cool as well. And, you know, that's what makes it worthwhile. All those fans, no matter where they are throughout the world. And like you were saying, I've been getting stuff for the last week from people all over the world. And it's like, Oh dear God, I didn't know they even watched it there. <laughs> so it's, it's kind of, amazing to have you all and um as i always like to say from my heart to your heart may all of the blessings of god be with you and may everything you want come true because we yeah. really really love you all of you yeah we really do yeah and, sure. and just to echo that too i i you know to echo everything that they said it's it, it's so true and i can say about this cast i'm sure many other actors but these guys here we love to hear these stories i think that's our favorite part of being Power Rangers is not that when we're on the show, but now when we get to meet you guys and hear the, the, the positive impacts that we've had on your lives. And we hear so many amazing stories and we love hearing them. So when we do meet you and you've got a story like that, how we may have affected your life positively, please tell us because that's part of the engagement that, that I think this Power Ranger fandom in us, it's a special relationship that I don't think happens with a lot of shows. So um, we love meeting you as much as you love meeting us. So always remember that when you meet us, please tell us your stories. That's what makes this relationship different and special. Yeah. And I think uh, oh. just to echo what everyone else said as well and echo the echo, um, <laughs> uh, we're a very personal cast and like you can reach out to us if you have any, any concerns, questions. Um, for the most part, we, I, I know either at comic cons or online, we try to reach back out to our fan base, uh, whether through our, you know, recommenting back on your, your comments or, or DMS and stuff like that. But, um, you know, we just love to hear not only uh, how we in, in impacted you, but also, you know, maybe how we inspired you to be a better person or get through a situation and all that. Um, and yeah, feel free to always reach out to us, you know, and if we don't get back to you right away, it's just because yeah, we maybe didn't see you because there's a lot of messages. But we honestly do try out of most actors that I do meet. We do try to like reach out as much as possible. And we just do appreciate all of the, the love that you guys give us. Okay. Yeah, and just to uh, to piggyback off what everybody else has said. <laughs> piggyback, off, piggyback off the echo. You don't want to say echo. There you go. <laughs> no, I mean we're all you know we're 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 stuck inside, and this has just been such a humbling experience to mm -hmm. have fans from all over the world to mm -hmm. to log in to watch us virtually is yeah. is absolutely amazing. I mean. Mm -hmm. um, we're all, I mean, I'm, I'm going a little stir crazy, you know, I'm, I'm sure everyone's having, you know, we're all in, in, in this together. We're having, um, you know, this, this, this challenge. Uh, and it's, it's absolutely amazing that, um, that, uh, we're able to share in this experience and, and, um, mm -hmm. and, and we love you guys. I mean, you know, this is why we do, 
that's why we're here. I mean, yeah. if it weren't for you guys, we, we, uh, we wouldn't be doing this. So thank, thanks for logging in and, and always, you know, it's, it's an absolute pleasure um, and an honor. It's amazing. So thank you. And, and thanks Mike and, and was a role for having all of us. Yes. Yeah, thank, yeah, thank you. Guys. Thanks Mike. Thank oh, you all so awesome. much uh, for being here. What a pleasure. Uh, if you, I'm sure everyone watching right now has has seen the series, but if you're watching it later on or you want to watch it again, it's all there right on Netflix. Um, it's the perfect time to go back and binge um, Power Rangers, specifically uh, this amazing season of Love Time Force. Me. We <laughs> hope to see, nice. Yeah, let's get a final a final parting shot there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, trying to get Are you fast forwarding? Yeah. No, I'm trying oh, to get everybody. Everybody. No, there it is. Yeah, boom. There's everybody. Yes. <laughs> well, I've got, one thing, I've got one thing to say. Go for it, Vernon. Ran sick forever. <laughs> Coming. Yes, Bert, you got it in. <laughs> Ran sick forever. Uh, let's hear it for uh, all of this amazing, uh, all these amazing people, uh, the amazing cast of Power Rangers Time Force. Let's give a big virtual round of applause. Show me your hearts. Show me those uh, thumbs up. Show me those heart emojis. Once again, for right. Jason Font, Michael Copan, Aaron Cahill, Kevin Kleinberg, Vernon Wells, everybody. Thanks, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you, so guys. Thank you so much. Thanks, guys. Bye, <laughs> all. Much love. Bye. Much love. Hey, this is Alex Malari Jr. and you are watching Phantom Spotlight. Be sure to hit that like button, share, and subscribe. Your emperor commands it. Thanks for watching. <laughs>